What's going on guys, welcome to Sonic Sons, and today we are going to talk about how to route things to buses in Logic Pro X. Now if you don't know what this is, it's super simple. Imagine you have five different tracks and you want to put all the same effects on all of them or you want to send an effect like a reverb or delay on all of them. You will be able to do that by sending all five of these tracks output to a track make effects, changes, anything you want to do that to that track, and that will be routed to your master track. Now, the benefit of doing this is you have control over, let's say you want to turn down all your drum tracks. You're able to do it with just one knob rather than changing all of your drum tracks. Let's say you want to add a reverb to all your vocal tracks. You're able to do that just by one click rather than routing everything manually. So let's jump into Logic Pro and we'll walk you through the process of creating buses and how to process them. So let, let's let talk about bus processing. I have this track right here. Let's play a bit of the track and then we'll do some bus processing on the track. Here we go. When you say I miss you When I say I'm falling for you Right before the sunrise I miss you all right, so it looks like I have a pad track right here and a piano track. And I want to cut down low frequency on both of those as well as let's see what these two tracks are. Now let's say these two tracks, I see a bit of high frequency that I want to cut out and make room for some vocals. So what do you do? Well, you can also go here and just put another EQ, cut down the top end. However, what you can also do is do something called bus processing. So let's select these two and hit X to open up the mixer. As you can see, these tracks are going out to the stereo bus. That means they're going right to my master channel right here. However, I want to process these two's output into a different track and then it will go into this master bus. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to bus, choose an empty one. So I'm going to choose 14 and you can see a new track was created. So we'll go and type a name right here, say top melody. And if you hit solo and play, you'll only hear those two tracks. Now, let's say you had a bunch of plugins loaded up. Your CPU does not have any room to process anymore. If you bust these and if you just click here, you can put EQ to both of those sounds at the same time. And that way you don't have to make changes to each particular track. And now this one, you can see it's going out to this main track. So let's play this again. When you say I miss you, when I say I'm falling for you. Now you can also do that for all the vocal tracks right here. So let's go and see what they're doing. So currently all these vocal tracks are going directly to my output. What I can do is here, go to 15 and also say vocals. Now all the vocals are being played here. When you say I miss you. When I say I'm falling for you. Now you can see the vocal reverb is applied right here at the track level. I know I'm sending it to bus 11. Let's say I don't want to do that. I'll go right here to bus 11 and go to bus 11 right here. And the volume was at negative 16.6. So I'll just go and write in negative 16.6 right here. So now the reverb is applied at this level. When you say I miss you. When I say I'm falling. Now this is the reverb, so let's name this reverb. Now what you can also do is let's say you have the track with too many vocal effects and you don't want so many vocal effects. You can take all your reverbs, all your plates right here and send all of these buses to another track call effects. Now the benefit of this is let's say you want to hear all the effects. When you say and somebody tells you that oh, I don't like all those effects, you can just turn down the knob right here and all your effects will go down. So let's do that. Let's play this and then we'll play with the effects knob and see how much difference and how easy it is to just reduce the amount of effects. When you say I miss you When I say I'm falling for you Right before the sunrise I miss you Now let's say you feel the vocals are too high, just go here and reduce the vocals. When you say I when I say I'm falling for you, right before the sunrise, I miss you. Ooh, when you say I miss you, when I say I'm falling. That is 
how we do bus processing in Logic Pro X. Now, whether you're producing, mixing, or mastering, this is something that's gonna help everyone because everyone does this. It's a common standard practice and you will save a lot of CPU processing power so you can use that for something else. And as usual, if you have any questions, you can always leave them below. If you like the content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with any producer friend who are gonna find it helpful. See you at the next one.